fun video for the pineapple lace crochet wrap. This is a fun project to do. It's a bit intermediate because it is that pineapple stitch, but I'm going to walk you through each row. So that should be super helpful. But first let's talk supplies. So this crochet wrap is quite large. You can make it smaller by doing less repeats, but this is made with the whims Merino from Furls crochet. This is the color white, and this took 10 balls to make this wrap, including the fringe. Um, the drape on this is absolutely amazing. It has a heavier drape, which really looks nice when it's on. And so I highly suggest this yarn for this project. But of course, there are many substitutes that are out there. You can pick whatever colors or yarns that you like. Um, anything really will work for this simply because the gauge doesn't quite matter as much since it's a wrap and not a fitted item. The other things you will need are two stitch markers to keep track of your rows, a yarn needle to weave in any ends, some scissors. I like to keep this needle case around because I tend to lose my needles in my couch and this helps keep track of them. A hook. This is a size K. Um, from Furls Crochet. This is the Streamline Swirl. Each swirl is unique, so I absolutely love them. And then for this video, I am going to be showing you the example in this pink yarn. I think it's a bit easier to see on camera than white. So let's get started and we're going to walk through each row. So that this wrap works well when it's worn, I like to keep the pineapples going in the direction that I want and also to get this nice edge at the very end. So what we will do for this wrap is you'll notice it has a center spine. So what we do is we start by chaining and we work this one direction of our repeats. And then when we come back for the second panel part, we're going to be working the same instructions on the opposite side going this way. So what I'm going to walk you through is the repeat in order to know how to do all of these pieces. So I'm going to start with chaining 65. For row one, we will begin with 65 stitches. This is 63 stitches plus two turning chains. So we're going to start by placing a puff stitch into the third chain from our hook. To do a puff stitch, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So now we have five. We're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And we have seven loops on our hook, which at this point we will yarn over and pull through all seven loops. Now grab a stitch marker because it's a smart idea to mark the first stitches in each row so we know where we're ending on the next row. Now we are going to chain three, skip one, and single crochet. Chain three, skip two, and then single crochet. We're going to be repeating those steps across until we get to the last couple stitches. So we will chain three, skip one single crochet, chain two, chain three, sorry, and then skip two single crochet. So it's chain three, skip one single crochet, chain three, skip two single crochet. Do that across into the last couple stitches. Now at the end of row one, you will have two chains remaining. I'm going to chain three like I have here. And in the very last stitch, we are going to do another puff stitch. And that completes row one. So for row one, if you're counting all the chain spaces, you should have 25 chain spaces across. Now we're going to go ahead and turn our work and start row two. For the beginning of row two, we are going to chain two for the turning chain. And then we are going to do a puff stitch into the very first stitch of this row, 
which is doing a puff stitch above the puff stitch from the previous row. Go ahead and mark this stitch so that it makes it easy when we work back this way to figure out where the end of our row is. And now we're going to do a V stitch into this very first space. So to do a V stitch, we're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And now we're going to chain three, skip this next chain space, and do a V stitch into the next chain space. And we're going to be repeating that across. We're going to chain three, skip this chain space, and do a V stitch into the next. And as we come to the end of row two, we'll see that we have one last chain space to work and we'll do a V stitch into that last chain space. And then we're going to do a puff stitch into the last stitch. So I can remove my marker and this is where we're going to place our puff stitch. And that is the end of row two, so we will turn for row three. For row three, we will chain two, and this will be our turning chains. And then we're going to do a puff stitch into that very first stitch. And you can go ahead and mark that puff stitch. And now we're going to be doing a V stitch. Now from here on out, the notes will tell you that we are doing a V stitch inside the V stitch from the row below unless it's indicated otherwise. So all of our V stitches will go into our V stitches. And then we're going to chain three and do that repeat. So V stitch, chain three, Oh, got to do that V stitch first, <laughs> not just a double crochet. So we do our V stitch inside of our V stitch, then we chain three and V stitch in the next. So we're going to be repeating that where we do a V stitch and chain three all the way across until the last chain space, which is a V stitch. So as we come to the end of row three, we have one more V stitch to work. So we're going to work that a V stitch into that last V stitch. And then I'm sure you're seeing a pattern here. We are going to go ahead and into this puff stitch, we are going to do a puff stitch to end out this row. And now we can turn and get ready for row four. For row four, we will start with a chain two and then a puff stitch into that very first stitch. And now we're going to do a V stitch into the very first V stitch. chain three, and then do another V stitch. Remember these go into the V stitches from the row below. And now we're going to chain two and into the next V stitch, we are going to double crochet nine. I know it's a lot of double crochets into one space, but this is what gives us that beautiful base of the pineapple part of the stitch.
And now we're going to chain two and do a V-stitch into the next V-stitch. And now we're going to chain three and V-stitch twice. So chain three, V-stitch, chain three, and V-stitch. And now we're going to chain two and do the nine double crochets again. And now chain two and do a V-stitch into the next V-stitch. Do a chain three and V-stitch twice. And now we're going to chain two and do nine double crochet stitches into the next V-stitch one more time. And now chain two and V-stitch. Chain three. And here's where we're going to V-stitch into our last V-stitch. And then as you probably guessed, we are going to do a puff stitch into the last stitch of the row. And that is the end of row four. For row five, we will start with a chain two and a puff stitch into the first stitch. And then we're going to do a V-stitch, chain three, and then a V-stitch. Now we're going to chain two, and now into the, to the next double crochet stitch, we are going to single crochet. and then chain one. And we're gonna do that all the way across here. So it'll be eight times more. Single crochet, or eight times total, sorry. Single crochet, chain one. So we do a single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, chain one. And we'll do that for eight times. And then into this very last double crochet, we will place a single crochet. So we've worked all the way across this section with the chain one in between those single crochet stitches. 
Now we're going to chain two and do a V stitch. And now we're going to chain three and do a V stitch twice. And now we're just going to repeat that part we did from here where we did the chain two, single crochet, chain one, across here, and then our V stitches. So I'm gonna do repeat that section again for this part. And now after doing that repeat one more time, I'm going to chain two and do this part again where it's a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all the way across that fan looking section. And then we'll end it with a single crochet across that section. And then we're going to chain two, V stitch. Chain three. And then do a V stitch into the last V stitch. And then we're going to do a puff stitch into the last stitch in the row. And that's the end of row five. And now it's time for row six. We will turn and get ready for row six where we will start row six by chaining two and doing a puff stitch into that first stitch. And now we'll do a V stitch into that first V stitch. Chain three, V stitch. And then we're going to chain two. Now for this next section, when we work across this fan, we will be working in the chain one spaces. So we are going to single crochet into that very first chain one space from the row below, and then chain one. And we will do that seven times. So I'm working into the chain spaces here. All right, now that I've done that seven times, we have one chain space left on this fan and we will single crochet into that. And then we are going to chain two and do a V stitch. And then we are going to chain three and do a V stitch two times. And now we're just going to be repeating that section again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. And now for this last section, we're going to chain two, single crochet into that first chain one space, chain one, 
do the single crochet and the chain one seven times. Single crochet into that last chain one space and then chain two. Do a V stitch into the next V stitch. Chain three. Do a V stitch. And now in the very last stitch, we will do a, another puff stitch. And that is the end of row six. And now we will turn for row seven. Notice that this scrunches quite a bit in certain areas. I will say that this is a pattern that absolutely needs some blocking. I block all my items now because it makes such a difference. For row seven, we will start by chaining two and doing a puff stitch into that first stitch. And then go ahead and mark the first stitch in the row. Now we're going to do a V stitch. Chain three and a V stitch. And then here's where we're going to start our repeat. We are going to chain two. And now we're going to single crochet into the next single crochet, chain one space. And then we will chain one. So just like we kind of did the row below, but we're kind of decreasing this area now. Each time we work across this fan, we won't be doing quite as many single crochets and chain ones. So we will do a single crochet and a chain one six times. and then single crochet into that last chain one space. And then chain two. And then do a V stitch. Chain three and V stitch. chain three and V stitch. And then you're just going to do that repeat section one more time and then we'll come right back after that. All right, so now we chain two, a little bit familiar here. We'll do a single crochet into the chain one space and then chain one and do that six times across. And then we'll single crochet in that last chain one space and chain two. Then we'll do a V stitch. Chain three. Do another V stitch. And then do a puff stitch into that last stitch. And that is the end of row seven, so we will turn for row eight. All right, for row eight, we will chain two and puff stitch. And then do a V stitch. Chain three and a V stitch. Then we will chain two, and this is the beginning of our repeat, that chain two, 
And then we're going to single crochet into the first chain space and chain one. And we will do that five times. And then in the very last chain one space, we will place a single crochet, chain two, and V stitch. And then we're going to chain three and V stitch twice. And then do that repeat one more time and come on back. All right, we will chain two, do the single crochet, chain one five times across that fan looking area. And then single crochet into that last chain one space. And then chain two, V stitch. Chain three, do our last V stitch of the row. And then of course, in the last stitch, we will do a puff stitch. And that is the end of row eight, and we will turn for row nine. For row nine, we are going to start with a chain two and a puff stitch into the first stitch. Now we're going to do a V stitch into the first V stitch. Chain three. V stitch. Chain two. And now we're going to do across this fan again, but it'll be four times. So we will single crochet in the chain one space and then chain one four times. And then in the last chain one space, we will single crochet and then chain two. We'll do a V stitch. Then we're gonna kind of mix it up here. Here's what we're gonna do, a chain two. And in this very next V stitch space, we are going to do a V stitch twice. So I'm going to do a V stitch and now I'm going to do another V stitch in the same V stitch. And now chain two and V stitch. And that's the repeat we will do one more time from this point to this point. And now we're going to chain two, work across this band by doing a single crochet chain one four times. Single crochet in that last chain one space, chain two, V stitch, chain three, V stitch into that last V stitch.
and then puff stitch into the last stitch of the row. And this is the end of row nine, and now we can turn and go to row 10. So we've chained two and done the puff stitch into the first stitch of the row, just like the rest starting on row 10. And now we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to chain one, I've chained one, and now I'm going to double crochet into this V stitch, but I'm going to do it three times. So there's one, two, chain one, and then my last double crochet all into that first V stitch. Then we are going to chain two, V stitch into the next V stitch. Chain three. And now we're going to do our single crochet into the chain one space and then chain one, and we'll do that three times. And then single crochet into that last chain one space. Then we're going to chain three and do a V stitch. And then we're going to chain two and do a V stitch into this next V stitch. And then we're going to chain one and do a V stitch into the area between these two V stitches from the row below. just like that. And then we are going to do, to do a chain one and V stitch into this last V stitch of this area. And then chain two. And then we're going to do a V stitch into the next V stitch. So now we will repeat that section one more time. And after that repeat, we will chain three and then single crochet, chain one across this fan for three times. Single crochet in that last chain one space. And then we are going to chain three, V stitch. chain two, and then double crochet, chain one, three times into that last V stitch space. And now we are going to do a puff stitch into that last stitch. And that is the end of row 10. That row is a little bit different from previous rows, so we really mixed it up a little bit, but we're making space for these pineapples to kind of rotate where they're beginning and ending. So now we're gonna turn for row 11. For row 11, we are going to start with a chain two and a puff stitch. And now we are going to chain one and double crochet into the first chain one space. Then we are going to chain three, skip the next chain one space and V stitch. And then chain two 
and V stitch. And then now we're going to start our repeat with a chain three. And we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain one space and then a chain one and we'll do that twice. And then we'll single crochet into the last chain one space on this fan area. Now we're going to chain three and do a V stitch. And chain two. And now we're going to do a V stitch, chain three, skip next chain one space. And we're going to do that twice. So we're going to go do a V stitch. chain three, skip the next space, and then we're going to do a V stitch. And then chain three, skip the next space and do a V stitch. and then chain two and V stitch. And that's our repeat. So do that one more time. And now after doing that repeat, now we will do a chain three. We'll work a single crochet and a chain one twice and then a single crochet in that last chain space, and then a chain three and a V stitch. And then we're going to chain two, V stitch, chain three and skip the next chain one space. So we're going to skip this space and now we're going to do a double crochet chain one into that next space and then we are going to do a cluster or a, sorry a puff stitch into that last stitch. And that is the end of row 10, row 11. Sorry, that is the end of row 11. Now for row 12. So for row 12, we're going to start with a chain two and then a puff stitch. Then go ahead and mark that stitch. And now in the next chain one space, which is right here, we are going to be doing five double crochets. And now we're going to chain two and we're going to skip the next chain space and do a V stitch. And then we're going to chain three and do a V stitch. And now these next parts, this next part is where the repeat will come in. So this repeat will start with a chain three. We're gonna single crochet into the next chain one space, ch 
chain one and single crochet into the next chain one space. And now we're going to chain three and V-stitch twice. So we'll do another chain three and V-stitch. And now we will chain two and in the next V-stitch space, we are going to double crochet nine. And now we will chain two and do a V stitch. And chain three and V stitch. And that is the repeat. So go ahead and do that one more time and then come on back. After doing that repeat again, now we're going to chain three and do a single crochet in the chain one space, chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, and then chain three. And now we're going to do a V stitch. And chain three and V-stitch again. And now we're going to chain two and skip this, this chain space and do five double crochets into the next chain space. And then in the last stitch, we will do a puff stitch. And that is the end of row 12 and go ahead and turn for row 13. All right, so we are on row 13. Here we are at the almost halfway point of this video and we are going to start it with a chain two and a puff stitch. Go ahead and mark that. So we are going to single crochet into this next stitch and then chain one. So we are going to single crochet and chain one for a total of four times. And now we're going to single crochet into the next. And now chain two, this is the start of our repeat here. We are going to chain two and V-stitch. Chain three. And now we're going to V-stitch and chain three again. Now we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space. And now we're going to chain three and V-stitch twice. So chain three, V-stitch. Chain three and V stitch. And 
And now chain two. And across this next part, we are going to single crochet and chain one eight times. And then single crochet into that last stitch right there and that's going to be our repeat so repeat that one more time so after doing that second repeat we are going to chain two had to find my spot there chain two v stitch chain three twice so here's our v stitch our chain three V stitch chain three now we're gonna do a single crochet into that chain one space and chain three and V stitch chain three and V stitch and then chain two and we are going to do a single crochet into the next from the double uh, on the double crochet from the row below and then we're going to chain one four times so two three Four, and then single crochet into the next and then we're doing a puff stitch into the last and that is the end of row 13 I love how this is taking shape so let's keep on going now for row 14 I've turned and I've chained two and done a puff stitch into my very first stitch now we're going to do a chain one and single crochet into the next chain one space. We're going to do that four times. So chain one, single crochet into the next chain one space. And now we're going to chain two, do a V stitch. chain three and then do a V stitch and now we're going to skip all of these chains and do a V stitch into the next V stitch and then we're going to chain three Do a V stitch, and chain two. And now we are going to do a single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one, and we will do that seven times. And then we're going to do a single crochet into that last chain one space chain one space and then that's our repeat our repeat is from that um, chain two and V stitch so we're going to do that repeat again and then we'll come on back and now we will chain two and do a V stitch chain three 
This is where we're going to work those next two V stitches. Skipping all of these chains in between them. And then we're going to chain three and do a V stitch. Chain two. And now we're going to single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one. And we'll do that four times. And then we will do a puff stitch into the last stitch. And that is it for row 14. For row 15, I have started with a chain two and a puff stitch. And now it's time to do a single crochet in this first chain space and chain one. And we will do that three times. And now we are going to do a single crochet in that last chain space. Now we are going to chain two and this is where our repeat is starting at this chain two and we are going to do a V stitch. Chain three and now we're going to skip this next V stitch V stitch and we're going to do a V stitch in between these two V stitches. And this also means that we will be skipping this V stitch space and chain three and do the next V stitch space. So that's kind of how that looks now. Can decrease some V stitch spaces there. Makes it look really nice. And now we're going to, let's see, we did chain three and we got our V stitch. So now we're going to chain two. And we are going to single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one. And we will do that six times. And then we will single crochet in that last chain one space and then we will chain two. We're going to end a repeat at single crocheting in this last chain one space. And then you just repeat that part one more time and then come on back. And now after doing that second repeat and I've stopped on the single crochet in that last chain one space. Now we will chain two and V stitch. And then we're going to chain three and V stitch in. We're going to skip this V stitch, V stitch in the space between those. Chain three. Almost out of yarn here. I'm going to have to join a new ball. We're going to skip this V stitch back up one just so I can change yarn here. So we're going to skip this V stitch and we're going to V stitch into the next. And now we are going to chain two and do a single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one. And we will do that three times. And 
and then we're going to single crochet into the last chain space and do a puff stitch into the very last stitch. And that is the end of row 15. All right, for row 16, I have started by doing the chain two and the puff stitch into the first. And now I'm going to chain one and single crochet in the next chain one space. I'm going to be doing that three times. So two and three. And now we're going to chain two and do a V-stitch. And now we're going to chain three and V-stitch twice. And I know I've got some strands hanging out here. Hopefully those won't make it too difficult to see what happens next. Tie them down a little. So we're simply going to chain three and V-stitch. Chain three. And V-stitch. And now we're going to chain two. And single crochet in the next chain space chain one space and then chain one and we'll do that five times. And then single crochet into that next stitch. And that's our repeat. So repeating from this chain two to the end of this fan part, do that one more time. All right, after repeating that, now we're going to chain two and V-stitch. Chain three and V-stitch. Chain three and V-stitch. Now we're going to chain two and do a single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one. And we will do that three times. And now we're going to do a puff stitch into that very last stitch and turn. That's the end of row 16. I've started row 17 with a chain two and puff stitch, and now it's time to do a single crochet into the next chain space. And then we're going to chain one. We're going to do that for two times. And then we're going to single crochet into this last chain one space. Now here comes our repeat. We will chain two and V-stitch. And then we will chain two and we are going to V-stitch twice into this next V-stitch space. Now we're going to chain two and V-stitch. And then chain two and we are going to single crochet into the next chain one space. And chain one and we will do that four times. And then we will single crochet into the next chain one space.
And that's our repeat. So do that one more time. Now, after that second repeat on row 17, we chain two and V stitch. Chain two. And now we're going to do two V stitches into this next V stitch space. And now we're going to chain two and V stitch. And at the end here, we will chain two and single crochet in the next chain one space and chain one. And we are going to do that two times. And then we're going to single crochet into this last chain one space. And in the very last stitch, we will do a puff stitch. And that completes row 17. All right, for row 18, I've started with a chain two and puff stitch. And now I am going to do a chain one, single crochet into the next chain space. And then we're going to do that one more time chain one and single crochet into the next chain space. And now we're going to chain three. Now we will do a V stitch. And then we're going to chain two and do a V stitch into the next V stitch. And now we're going to do a V stitch in the space between these two V stitches. For first we're going to chain one, I'm sorry, but we're going to do a, a V stitch and chain one, and then a V stitch in between these next V stitches, the space between, and then chain one, and then do a V stitch. And now we are going to chain two and do a V stitch. And now we're going to chain three and do our fan area where we single crochet in the first chain one space and chain one. And we will do that for a total of three times. And then we're going to single crochet into that last chain one space. Now we will repeat that from the chain three one more time. All right, to finish off row 18, we will do a chain three and a V stitch. And then a chain two. And we are going to do a V stitch into the next V stitch. chain one and do the V stitch between these two V stitches. Chain one and work a V stitch into the next V stitch. And then we're going to chain two, work the next V stitch. chain three, and then we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one. We'll do that one more time. And then we're going to do a puff stitch into the last. And that is the end of row 18. Here we go for row 19. I've started with the chain two and the puff stitch, and now I'm going to single crochet into the next chain one space, and then I'm going to chain one, and then single crochet into the next chain one space. And now I will chain three, 
V stitch. Chain two. V stitch. And now we are going to chain three. Skip the next chain space and do a V stitch. We're going to do that again. We're going to chain three. Skip the next chain space and do a V stitch. Now we will chain two and V stitch. Chain three and we're going to single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one two times and then single crochet into that last chain one space. And then that is our repeat from the chain three. So do that one more time. And to finish out row 19, we are going to chain three and V stitch. Chain two. And here's where we're going to do a V stitch. chain three, skip the next chain space and V stitch into the next. Chain three, skip the next chain space and V stitch into the next. And now we're going to chain two do a V stitch, chain three, and to finish this row out, we will do a single crochet in the next chain one space. Then we're going to chain one and do another single crochet in the next chain one space. And then we end this row with a puff stitch. That is the end of row 19. All right, I began row 20 with the chain two and then the puff stitch into the first. And now we are going to chain one and single crochet in the chain one space. And now here comes our repeat. We are going to chain three and then V stitch. and then chain three and V stitch. And then we're going to chain two and into this next V stitch, we are going to double crochet nine. And now we're going to chain two and do a V stitch. And chain three and do a V stitch. And chain three 
and we are going to do a single crochet into the next chain space chain one and single crochet and that is our repeat so do that one more time and after that repeat we are going to chain three and v-stitch twice And now we're going to chain two and double crochet nine into the next V stitch. And now we're going to chain two and do a v-stitch and then chain three and do a v-stitch and now we're going to chain three and single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one and then we will do a puff stitch into the last to complete row 20. Are you still with me? I know this is quite the long repeat but for row 21 I've started with a chain two and a puff stitch. Now we are going to skip the chain space and we are going to do a V stitch. And now here comes our repeat. We are going to chain three and V stitch. And now we are going to chain two. And here's where we start working across that fan again. We are going to do a single crochet into the next stitch and then chain one and do that eight times across. And now single crochet into that next stitch. Looking good. All right, now we are going to chain two and V stitch. And then we are going to chain three. And now we're going to do that again. We're going to do a V stitch. And a chain three. And now we're going to just do a single crochet into that chain one space. Chain two. And V-stitch. Chain three. And, oh, I didn't complete that V-stitch there. Sometimes I forget that second double crochet. Oh. 
And actually our repeat ends right here. I went a little bit farther there, but our repeat will end right here. It started with the chain three and then the V stitch right here, and then it ends right here. So I'm gonna do that section one more time. So now after that repeat, we are going to chain three and V stitch twice. And now we're going to chain two and work across this fan again by doing a single crochet into that next stitch and then a chain one and do that eight times. And now we are going to do a chain two, a V stitch. Oh, if I can, I'm running out of steam here. I hope you're not. A chain three. And a V stitch. Now for this last part, we are going to single crochet into that chain one space, and then our last stitch will be a puff stitch. And that is the end of row 21, and now we are on to row 22. For row 22, I've started with our chain two and puff stitch. And we're going to start this by skipping the chain stitch and we're going to go straight into that V stitch. Now we're going to chain three and V stitch. Chain two and now we are going to work our way across this fan again. So now we're going to be working into those chain one spaces. And we're going to do the single crochet and chain one seven times across here. and then single crochet into that last chain one space. And then we're going to chain two and V stitch. Chain three and V stitch. And this is where we're going to V stitch twice. So we're going to be skipping these uh, chain stitches and we're going to go right over here and do a V stitch again. And that is where we're going to do our repeat. All right, and to finish out row 22, we're going to chain three and V stitch. And then we're going to chain two and we're going to do a single crochet into that next chain one space, chain one, and do that seven times.
And now we are going to chain two, V-stitch, chain three, V-stitch, and then do a puff stitch into the last stitch. And that's the end of row 22. All right, for row 23, I've done the chain two and puff stitch, and now we're going to do a V-stitch into the very first V-stitch space. And then we're going to chain three and V-stitch. And then chain two. And here's where we are going to single crochet into the chain one space and then chain one. And we will do that six times across and then single crochet into that last space. And then we're going to chain two, V-stitch, chain three, and now we're going to skip this V-stitch and this is where we're once again just going to do one V-stitch in between these two, so the space in between the next two V-stitches. And then we will skip this V-stitch and chain three and go on to the next V-stitch. And now we're going to do that repeat. We're going to work across here and then come on back. All right, now I'm back to this side where I just did a V-stitch in between those previous two V-stitches, and now I'm going to chain three, skip this V-stitch and go right onto this one. And now chain two, and we're going to do our single crochet and chain one six times across, and then single crochet into that last chain one space. So lots of repeats going on here. Um, a lot of this is repeating just certain sections of other sections. It just is a long row repeat to get the whole effect. Now we're going to chain two and do a V-stitch. Chain three and do a V-stitch. And then in our very last stitch of the row, we will do a puff stitch. And that's the end of row 23. Let's go on to row 24, which will be the last row I show on camera. All right, for row 24, I've started with a chain two and puff stitch, and now I'm going to do the first V stitch and chain three, and then do a V stitch. And then chain two, and now do your single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one and we will do that five times. And then we're going to single crochet into that last chain space on that fan area. And now we're going to chain two. Do a V-stitch. and chain three. And that's our repeat from the V-stitch. So do that one more time 
and then come, actually two more times, and then come on back. All right, to end out row 24, we will be doing a V-stitch into that last V-stitch. And then of course, our puff stitch into this last stitch. Now for this wrap, you will repeat rows nine through 24 two more times for one side. So this wrap where we started, we're going, we work this, then we will work rows nine through 24 two more times, and then you can fasten off. Now I just wanna mention when you come back to start working the other way, we're gonna start working off this edge. So we're gonna turn it around and then we're gonna start from row two, we're gonna attach our yarn and we're just gonna treat these spaces on row two the same way we did on row two over here. And then we'll be working from row two through 24 and then repeating nine through 24 two more times. And that will give us this beautiful lace pineapple wrap. Then if you would like, Placing fringe around all these edges is a really nice detail. I did it around three edges. I love the way it looks. It's a bit boho and a lot of fun. And then of course, I just want to remind you to block. Like you can already tell this is, it will open up your stitches. It'll make it look so beautiful when you do an aggressive block. So I actually wet block this one and pinned it down and let um, a fan blow on it for about a day until it really blocked really, really nicely. Pineapple stitches often require quite a bit of blocking. Thank you so much for joining me for this project. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and use the hashtag Rihanna K Designs on social media so I can see what you make because I simply love it every single time I get tagged. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy this project.